Mr. Mattia, you bought a car that was not running, correct? Not necessarily not running, but it was, uh, it was under repairs and I just got it back. When you bought this car, did you drive it to the defendant's shop or did you have it towed? I had it towed. So it wasn't drivable? No, ma'am. So when you bought the car, it was a non-drivable car? No, yes, ma'am, yes. Okay. You took possession of the car, you are a mechanic, in order to fix it? Yes. What prevented the car from running? It ran, but it would overheat. And what did it need in order not to overheat? It needed a radiator, some hoses, it needed a timing belt, timing belt, and a water pump. Did you do any of that work on the car? The radiator, that, that was all. You fixed the radiator? Yes. So the car was drivable? Yes, it would drive. And you have a mechanics place that has cars inside? Yes, inside the shop. But you parked his car out on the street. The tow truck driver put it out on the street. You mean the one that he hired? Yes. But you accepted the car and yes. you worked on the car? Yes. And now you don't know where the car is? No, they, they found the car. Where is the car? From what I understand, it was impounded because of no license plates. That's, that's not true, Your Honor. What happened to the car? I have a voice recording if you want to hear it, but I'll just explain that uh, Highway Patrol found it on the freeway and they gave it to towing on June 1st, 2018. Okay, so they found the car on the freeway. Uh, yes. And you have a voice recording of that. Yes. I'd like to hear it. Yes, sir. It was sold in auction. On what day? By, uh, and you guys are towing, correct? I called the right number, right? Yep. Okay, and you guys found it uh, by Highway Patrol on June 1st? Yeah, Highway Patrol. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure, because I'm taking it all to court. I appreciate your help. So the car was stolen from in front of your premises? Obviously, I didn't know that it was stolen. I was under the impression it was impounded. Well, it was impounded, but it was stolen first, and it was left on a highway, because probably <laughs> the radiator worked for just so long. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay for the car in February? 1200 how much money did you give the defendant to fix it? It was agreed upon that I'll give him 460 for parts, and then when he was done, I would give him the rest. How much did oh, you give him? 460, ma'am. So, Mr. Pierre, this is your problem. When you accepted his car to be fixed, and you actually started to work on his car, mm -hmm. you had the responsibility to keep it safe. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you didn't keep it safe. I don't know the circumstances around how somebody got their hands on the car other than the plaintiff. Right. Do you have other people working for you? Yes. How many? Two. I don't know who took his car and left it on a highway, but when you, as someone who's in business, accept somebody's shirt to be fixed, pants to be pressed, car to be fixed, and the shirt gets destroyed and the pants get shredded or the car gets stolen, it's your fault because you didn't safeguard the car. You left it on the street. Somebody took it. You left it open, you left it in a place where it was vulnerable. And if it could be driven, and it clearly could be driven, it should be right in your garage when you're working on it. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,200. We're done. Thank you. Why does I excuse you? May step out.